Good morning and thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is for trading on Thursday, May the 19th, 2016. You're looking at a chart of the Silver Futures contract. This is our I Told You So video. Let's give a big hand of applause and take a, a moment to reflect and to congratulate the Pulse Wave system again for alerting us to the pullback in the metals. Go Pulse Waves. All right. Now we got that out the way. I wanted to let you know that if you are struggling in the markets, new to the markets, want to further your education about the markets, or if you want to make money in the markets, you need to head on over to the uh, website and the dis link descriptions are at the bottom of this uh, video. You need to do yourself a favor and come on over to Black Ops and um, find out what it is that you're missing. Our Black Ops trading room knew about these uh, alerts because I always post new alerts in the trading room long before uh, I do a video. So the website is updated uh, along with the trading room first and then videos are always tertiary. But anyhow, as you can see we're getting close now to the weekly support in the silver of 1629. A close below 1629 will set the stage for further declines into next week and beyond and set the stage for a retest of the 1350 mark. That would be in play and that's this low back over here. Uh, so silver is the weaker of the pair right now as you can see we are beginning to accelerate a little bit on this downside getting close to taking out the overnight low so far of 1662 and so just wanted to give you the red alert on that this uh, flash crash crash alert signal that we got at the beginning of the week is playing out in the metals which means that we're under distribution again okay testing the supports you need this sixteen dollar support to really hold as I indicated before in prior videos uh, right now um, it looks like it it may hold it's just hard to say if we pulse wave here though if we take up that 1629 then it's gonna be hard to stop the downward momentum Silver is like that. When it has pullbacks, downward momentum is tough to break sometimes. So we'll see how it how it plays out here. But right now it is in danger of post waving further downside. All right, gold. Gold is also getting closer to accelerating its downward decline. Uh, support is at 1246.60. If that's taken out, or if we close below it. It sets the stage for further declines going into next week. The trend line of 1190.10 is in play. That's this orange line right here. Uh, the first level of support is going to be the 1227.30 after we post away from the 1246.60. All right, so just keep that in mind. That is in play. If the supports do not hold in the gold, we go into the Kumo cloud. And then we test 1100 all right and then if we test 1100 depending on the level of momentum then that 104570 back here is now in play okay so we're gonna keep an eye out for the gold and the silver markets but the declines are beginning to accelerate as we're about to take out the overnight lows and possibly hit a negative pulse wave US dollar index is now strengthening and we have a positive pulse wave as we've taken out um, the 9519 mark and beginning to head higher right now we're at 9527 and so this market is trying to gather momentum and trying to break out support now is at 9188 so do we have a nice buffer here this market wants to be bullish getting in overbought territory but I suspect it's gonna lock in and we're gonna start to drift toward 98 in the coming weeks 
that seems to be the play that this market wants to make right now uh, your next acceleration point you will not see on this chart per system is at 95.79 95.79 is a major acceleration point to get the dollar index to the 98 handle I believe 98 is going to be strong resistance and it's going to falter once it hits 98 and that will lead, put us into um, into the end of the summer going into uh, September so my target for the dollar index is 98 uh, by the end of the summer and then we fall back down and take out this 91 and head into the 88 77 range that that 10 cent uh, no dead man's vortex abyss level that I've been telling you about so that's what we'll watch in this dollar index barring any unforeseen event all right switching our focus now to uh, to the crude oil market crude oil has pulled back significantly from that nine that 49 handle that might be it as the fit as 50 was the first test I believe that might be it I think we are now going to set this, the stage for a total uh, collapse of the breakout all right so overnight market we hit 4757 and a half uh, you really don't want to see 47.19 taken out, 47.20. If we trade below that today, then we could begin uh, the actual uh, backdraft of this market in which 46.10 is going to be in play that you don't want to see taken out by Friday. If we take out 46.10 by Friday, then it's game over. And the market now is going to reverse and get back down into the 33 handle. All right. So 3589 is the um, the trend line here for the the chart. If that's taken out, we accelerate and get back down and take out this 26. So watch the oil because it can have drastic moves very very quickly. But that's what we're looking at right now, and we are overbought right here. So this market is on watch. All right, taking a look now at the Buffett indicator. As you can see, we are upward trajectory in Apple. All right, it wants to try to get up to this blue line resistance, which is 96.41, and it's going to desperately try to do that. And it wants to close above that. Excuse me, by Friday. I suspect it probably won't happen. We'll have to wait and see, but it probably won't happen. I think it's going to fail here and set up. And this is this week is only setting up for the next leg down for next week like we did here I think this is about to play out here here we dropped significantly and so I'm looking at an, I'm gonna say we're probably gonna get close to a $20 move to the downside and the Apple uh, I don't think this market is bottomed this is not a bottom this is not a bottoming pattern um, we need to do something like this, which we have not done yet. So any upward thrust is going to be sold. Even if it can get beyond this 9641 first resistance, the 10144 is going to be a major, major, major resistance. All right. And so I don't see this market getting ready to pulse wave and break out above 109. We're so far away from that. And that's right here. And this orange trend line is going to be major in and of itself. And that's uh, 106.81. So, happen not gonna. And this apple. This is just a dead cat bounce off of the support. And like I said, the announcement was made right before, right when it was about to accelerate. This bar right here was about to become this bar. And then they made this news to stop the decline, to save this market. Uh, we'll see how it plays out from here. All right, now looking at um, Facebook. Facebook is pulling back after hitting a new all-time high of 121.08. See the decline here. We don't know if it's just about done yet. It's getting. It still has a way to go before it hits the over, oversold. And we're still very bullish. The blue trend, trend line support of 116.25 is acting as a strong support. Uh, and then the next one is the purple support, which is at 110.79. And 
and then of course we have our acceleration point of 105.51 and then we have last but not least 183 so that's where we are on the Facebook all right looking at Amazon Amazon is sort of in the same position as Facebook was 697.45 is what you see right now as the market starting to go down uh, pull back right this one is, is pretty much unsubstantial un insignificant just enough to take it out of the overbought and I think it's just building up for a next leg higher like Facebook is going into next week looking now at Google or Alphabet as its new name is called okay this one's pulling back uh, as you can see getting closer to that 671.35 uh, support if that's taken out it puts it into the Kumo cloud and also into free fall and the only break in support is around the 650 level but beyond that there's no more support it's in free fall and it could break 600 and below rather quickly so you're gonna really want to watch this one watch it closely to see what happens uh, but it's even even though we're in a bullish pattern still still in a bull market but we're in correction territory right now all right there's some distribution going on here all right longs are liquidating taking profit up here that's why you have to watch it all right we're taking profit up here all right taking a uh, follow-up view now looking at the steak and hamburger market known as live cattle all right this one is still flat with um, weakness as we're starting to roll over right here market is rolling over all right so that's something to take note of we are rolling over in addition to that as you can see this uh, trend line resistance is coming down now all right we still are in a overall bear market both trend lines are below the Kumo cloud and so I think that's adding pressure I think the 11390 is in play to be taken out going into um, to next week so I see the downward side accelerating as people temporarily are falling out of favor with hamburgers and steaks we'll see what happens everyone's talking about coffee I don't know why because it's nothing really happening it's try it looks like it's trying to get something together here but I don't see it I don't see the breakout yet uh, I, I see the talk if we take out 135.71 we take that out then we can start talking right now uh, we're still in a negative post wave cycle we're negative post waving all right negative post waving until this is taken out then I would say that this right here was fake or you know head uh, head fake bear trap and then we break out we'll see right now though not happening all right here's a special one let's take a look at the hang sang this is the hang sang index okay um as you can see it is already in a negative pulse wave event we took out the support back here that 19730 and it's heading lower okay leveling off a bit right here but this is looking more as a lock-in episode and not an oversold it looks like we're locking in to the downside here so this is gonna really have to be watched I'll be watching this in an EK uh, for further clues to see what's gonna end up developing in these markets all right and let's look at the Nikkei Nikkei as you can see is still in a bear market and right now we're in a positive cycle okay we're pulse waving positive no new highs yet but we're pulse waving positive we did so here on this bar only to give it all back up again hit its head respected the trend line resistance and fell down after bumping its head now we're bumping our head on the first level of resistance at this purple trend line right here of uh, the 16842 so right now this market has really no momentum in it look at that no no momentum this is not what you want to see you want to see for true momentum you want to see more of an arc here 
All right? It's not happening. Or like this one. Okay? You're not seeing that right now. You're seeing this. This usually leads to this. Okay? So that's where we are. Uh, weekly support is at 15,268. So we'll see how this settles uh, going into Friday. It could just be a flat sideways scenario um, going into next week with really no hint or clues of what's going to happen. So we'll have to wait and see if the post scan swing VIX uh, will be able to pick up something and uh, we'll see what happens. I know for this week though, we've been in um, in, a, uh, in a red alert mode for a, a rally, okay? We had a rally alert uh, going forward for uh, the Nikkei, the NASDAQ, crude oil, and the dollar, okay? Those are the, what we had the, um, the rally alerts for. The crash alerts that we had for this week uh, were in the euro, gold, and silver, okay? So that's where the, the 911 alerts came in to, uh, this week. All right, so I'll finish with this. There was a, um, a report I saw uh, this morning about an, an Egyptian flight. And normally, certain events usually signal clues to the market. Why it's done that way, I have no idea. I highly encourage uh, you guys to check the playlist link at the bottom of the description of this video and it's it's the WAN playlist W A N that that is my archive uh, radio broadcast that I did live uh, with Charlie McGrath from the Wide Awake News uh, radio show those are my, my my past broadcasts those broadcasts go back several years you're gonna want to check those out because most of the news events that you're hearing today, most of what you're seeing in the markets today, have already been predicted and called for. The algorithms were already pointing in that direction years in advance. Okay? I strongly encourage you guys to listen to some of these past uh, archive videos because I think that most people who are reporting stuff, especially about the markets, that's where they're getting it from. They're getting it from me and Charlie from our radio show. So nothing new under the sun. I'm not surprised by any of the events. But going back to this Egyptian airline thing, it could be fake. I don't know. All I know is uh, there was a um, when if one of the initial reports online said that there was 66 passengers on board, and the flight uh, pilot had 6,000 hours of um, experience well any of you who've been following my channel for a while know that that's 666 66,000 and 6,000 come on triple six so that is a clue normally to the elite to the powers that be of what's about to come next what they're up to just wanted to point that out I'm hoping that nothing comes from it and it's just a quinky dink or a coincidence um, but as we know, we live in very exciting times. We live in a weird world where just about anything goes. So I would not be surprised to see a major event happen here shortly in these markets. So just keep your eyes and ears open and be prepared for anything. And remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Remember to take what you can and give nothing back.